You're okay, Adam. I brought you a present from the Alps. Compliments of Victor Marchenko. Be careful with it. Is this the orchid? Yeah. Marchenko tried to kill me with it, just like he did Rucker. Think you can get it analyzed? Yeah, we got a couple of scientists on the collective's mailing list. Some of them are already culling through the files you and Janus pulled from the bank. I'll let you know what they find. Oh, and we also ran a trace on that email you gave me, from Rucker. It originated from an unregistered pocket secretary in Hong Kong. So we don't know who sent it? Not yet. It's been shut off ever since. But we left a trace running, so if it lights up again, we'll know. Good. Something big is coming, Alex. Ark's being framed for a terrorist attack that hasn't occurred yet. They're gonna take more lives, blow up another train station? Jesus, Adam, look at it out there! Any chance we had of easing fears and fighting people's hatred will be gone. That piece of shit UN legislation will pass and we'll all be thrown into AUG-only hellholes like Udalek. All Nathaniel Brown sits back and earns trillions. Brown? That slick suit from the Santo Corporation? Page said Brown was calling the shots. And in Switzerland, Marchenko said Brown had confirmed date and time. But where? Brown's been traveling extensively, promoting Rabia and his Safe Harbor initiative. His next junket's in London, but if he's behind this, he's not gonna attack himself. Maybe not. Marchenko also mentioned someone who can tell us. But I have to meet with Miller first. How soon can you get the sample analyzed? As fast as possible. If you're meeting with Miller, be careful. You walked into another ambush in Garm, and Miller's not off my suspect list yet. We'll see. Granted.
Or maybe one of these other coins will not her off. Who cares? I'm harassing everyone. What are you going into? We have fucking riots in Golem City. And a suicide Henzer cult on our hands? He can wait. Hey, I'm not arguing. It's all dark and augmented. Welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Yeah, it's a sore point after what happened a couple of years ago. Maybe you saw the news. Please understand. It was the biggest risk I could take. All Samistat's communications are bugged. The police raided the offices last night, cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, it went a little wider than we anticipated. What happened to Kay? Kay is me now according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third-wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know. But I mean, what physically happened to him? Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Bones. No contact, no bail, no rights. Plausible deniability. He must have known the risks. Well, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call, but you were reasonable. The state isn't reasonable. This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again, finish what they started? They already got the cape. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you when this happened? Right here. Running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. Either V could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact a readiness plan, and really do something. So are you running a resistance cell here, or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sammy's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. 
It's organized resistance, then. Peaceful resistance. We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's a happy accident of a police state. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's gonna take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh? But you knew that already. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first, we need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? Fine, I'll get them out. Yes. By the Monument Metro. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents. A lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. I recognize you. Too many people. I rank a bower. I thought we activated your permit. You did. Whatever you did, it was enough to fool them. You kept us out of Golem. We will never forget that. But now you're hiding again. Martial law has changed everything. They say it is to keep us off the streets, but it is worse than that. They go into our homes, accuse us of being people we are not. Permits do not matter anymore. How did you know to come here? Helena heard a message on the radio. It was warning people saying the city is not safe anymore. She saw the police go into someone's home. The man. He was showing them his permit, but the officer... He did not even look at it. He just... Helena could see that the warnings were true. That people like Irenka must have run away. So we start to go underground. We start to find others. When society wants to make things hard for someone, it eventually finds a way. I'm sorry it came to this, Erika. Don't be. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have made it this far. We wouldn't have met all these people. Everyone is working together. Together we will find a way out of here. I hope so. Lena, you didn't take my advice about giving up on forgery. I know, I know. But trouble is, I've got a talent for it. And it's a real growth market. As soon as you got me out of that thing with Dragomir, I had like 20 emails from Samizdat. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for art school graduates to find a specialist subject these days? The permits aren't enough for police anymore. Forged or real. In Prague, maybe. But, it turns out I'm multilingual when it comes to falsifying border passes. Lucky, right? Never works, I'd say lucky. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, Super Commando Man. We may not agree on your methods, but I'll let you get back to your work. Coming from you, that is like the gold star seal of approval. You always did want to travel. To travel, yes. Not to be a fugitive. I recognize this world from your They want us. Just leave it out in the middle. I don't know if I can do this. 
scared of the terrorists or the cops. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. Fair point. What happened? You pulled the freedom of information speech on the state police? Ha fucking ha. They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little K asked me to get you out. She's the K now, man. I'm a liability to Sammy's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago, and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray aliens, but who's to say that's not a metaphor? If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I don't believe in authorial intent.
You told me you were a liability to Sam's dad. How do you figure that? Because the cops burned me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. My high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark neck proxies. Oral cemetery. Oral cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplay. Anyway, a little case shouldn't have sent you. Sammy's dad has to be bigger than any man or woman. Sammy's dad is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. I warned you about picking a fight with Pikus. Would I be talking to you now if Pikus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately. What's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. You don't say. But they're trying, man. Bones heard the cops talking about extraordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in. When they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass? And ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Samizdat Resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? <laughs> Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits, and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. Good. It's time to go. I'll be right behind you. I'm very good at taking cover. Longer lead. We should send out insurance. Okay. Right Where's the top? Okay.
different angles, different angles, it's all angles. I'm very good at taking cover. You got that piece done yet? Mm. Mm. Long. Yes! Exit plans, man! Exit plans! Always be making them! We worked this contingency plan out when we started Sammy's death. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. You're gonna need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. If you want to come along, you can be the muscle. Well, whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. No can do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't mess. Right. With the cardboard box company. Watch yourself out there, Kay. Kay? Kay is Kazdi, man. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. Nothing's more private than my info link. I'm not so sure. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment and call me. Delara, what are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get- Ouch. Non-essential. I just meant- Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth is, watching Picus News, hearing that the mods were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of- Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So, I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. You doing okay, Delara? Look, Adam, I didn't tell you why I left Lim International. That I was in session with a patient when the incident hit, and that I was... You were attacked. Her name is Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know? But not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Believe me, Delara, I know how you feel. You know what I think? I think we're stronger than that day. 
I think the scars we carry are like armor now. Like armor? Hmm, I like that. Guess I just got a little spooked, you know? I understand. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. Hey, Adam. How'd you get here? I thought the city was locked down. It's like a war zone out there. The police scanners are going crazy. Did you engage them? I don't think you get what it's like out there, Arya. They're shooting everything that moves. Augmented people, homeless people. They're using this curfew as an excuse to kill the weak, and I stopped some of them. I didn't mean... You're right, Adam. I wasn't out there. I was just cleared for active duty. I don't want anything to mess that up. I'll wait out the storm in here. Whose unit are you assigned to for your next mission? McCready's. Really? I thought... He actually recommended me. Told me I shoot better than anyone on his team. That's great. Talk to you later, Arya. Bye, Adam. See you out there. Trying to stop terrorists here. I understand that. Jensen, thank God. I was starting to get worried. That I wouldn't make it in here, or that I actually would? What? I've been on the phone for the last half hour, trying to guarantee your safe passage through this city. Whatever you stumbled into at Garm is big. I know. I've been trying to find out how big for a long time. They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? When I left here, you, me, and Chicane were the only ones who knew what I'd discovered. Solid proof that someone other than Ark was involved in this. But you and your bosses have been trying to pin everything on them right from the start. You're out of line, Jensen. I sent you after Ark because they were viable suspects in the train station attack. And because Manderly ordered you to do it. Yes, he ordered me to do it, but unlike him, I will not ignore evidence to close a case. You've been nothing but an insubordinate cock-up since Manderly put you into this unit. Manderly? It was his signature on the transfer papers. I checked. <sighs> I can't believe we're arguing over this. Not when we need to focus. Chicane debriefed me while you were flying back. Leon sent in a strike team. Got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out, and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Tsar Dibi Adlam Street. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No, but with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the Red Light District alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Copy that. You do understand we are trying to stop terrorists here. How did they get You know what I heard? He got captured, escaped, and sneaked his way out of a heavily guarded facility. That's Jensen. He's a hands-on kind of guy. He's also got a bit of a problem with authorities. 
So what? I knew something big was going on with the Peterson pulled his ID off the PlayStation video. You were right. The Valley. 